Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a challenge that many developers encounter when working with Wildfly and remote EJB clients. Our viewer has a question about enhancing their authentication process with password expiration. They ask, how can we pass password expiration information from the Wildfly server's authentication module to a remote EJB client? Let's dive into the details. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you find that resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. To enhance your Wildfly authentication module with password expiration, we need to implement a mechanism that prompts users to change their password when it expires. First, we will utilize the javax.security.auth.callback.text input callback in our custom login module. This callback allows us to request the new password from the user during the login process. Next, we need to ensure that our FAT client can handle this callback. This involves creating a custom callback handler on the client side that processes the text input callback. Here's a simple example of how to implement the callback handler. In your client code, create a class that implements callback handler and override the handle method. Finally, ensure that your remote EJB client is configured to use this custom callback handler when making authentication calls. This will allow it to properly respond to the text input callback. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. The user believes the current approach to handle password expiration in the login module is flawed. They emphasize that user login should be a safe process without side effects. Using text input callback for password changes is inappropriate as it is meant for regular text input, not sensitive information like passwords. The user stresses the importance of adhering to the single responsibility principle, stating that the login module should only handle user authentication. For password changes, an authenticated user must confirm their old password and enter a new one, which requires multiple callbacks. Instead of using exceptions for control flow, they suggest using credential expired exception to indicate a password change is required. If you still want to implement this in a custom login module, create specific callbacks like password change callback and verify new password callback. Standard clients may struggle with these additional callbacks, so ensure your client implements the corresponding callback handler. There are two ways to customize the callback handler, by configuring a default callback handler or passing it to the login context constructor. The integration process for removing should remain consistent with current methods, and the FAT client receives callbacks via the callback handler interface.
And that's it guys. I hope that's found the answer that you were looking for and you got through to that solution. If you did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time, you have a technical issue, I'll see ya. Have a good one.